This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! I was about to be like, is it gonna transition to the next scene, or was it a bit? After dinner, without the energy to watch TV, I climbed onto the futon in my bedroom and let my head be overtaken by gloomy thoughts. I told Rika anything and everything. She had seemed trustworthy at the time, but had that really been the right choice? The more I looked back on it, the less I understood what Rika was saying. Not only did she know about Takano and Tomotake's deaths, but she spoke of them as if she were a concerned party. After all this time, in my futon, I began to tremble fiercely. Had I been lured in by Rika's sweet smile and told her things I shouldn't have? I should have, con sh I should have continued to feign ignorance. I shouldn't have shown her such a weak side of me. She no, she indicated right away, pretty much right away, that she knew we broke in. So, like, she already knew, admitting to it, really, I don't think, did anything. My emotions are a mix of regret and fear, and it colored the darkness of the night with an additional layer of terror. Suddenly, a knock! I might have yelped. That's how surprised I was. Which one? It was Dad. I reached out for the cordless phone for the gap in my door. There's only one! They all sound the same. I took the receiver and buried myself into my futon again. I practically jumped out of bed. It was Shion, who I had hoped so desperately would call me back last night. I heard what sounded like a deep sigh on the other end. She's like, I'm running away to America. <laughs> that was honestly probably very smart of Shion. After, like, the crazy, like, outburst of Keiichi, I think she actually did make the right call of, like, we're both clearly emotional, not in good moods right now, let's take, like, 24 hours and reconvene and continue. Like, I, I think that's actually very, very smart. Shion's tone still sounded a little angry. Yeah, under understandable for sure. But at the moment, she said she'd forgive me. <laughs> Shion, it's okay. I have an ally who's gonna make everything okay. She's like, really? Who is it? Rika. You mean that 10 year old girl? <laughs> yeah, she's gonna protect us. He's just like, oh my gosh, Keiichi, really? <laughs> Huh. I forced myself to swallow a solid drop of saliva. Takano and Tomotake's miserable ends, terrible enough that would make you call them <laughs> that you could call them a warning. They were more than enough to make me believe that. Nah, uh, we got a ten-year-old girl protecting us. Wait, Shion, do you have a gun like your sister? Oh yeah, well we're good then! <laughs> That's what a taboo is. For those who honor it, if no one breaks the taboo, no matter how small or innocent their intentions were, they wouldn't be forgiven. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that wasn't a warning! <laughs> like, 
<laughs> Dear lord, their deaths were like as gruesome as you can get pretty much. <laughs> All I was doing was waiting in fear, but Shion had already fought that far ahead. Given how trustworthy she felt, I became embarrassed over how passive I was being. Yep, that's just what Keiichi was feeling in Chapter 1. He felt like he was constantly being watched and followed everywhere. So this is Chapter 1, but Shion is, like, it's from Shion's perspective, essentially. She's becoming super paranoid now. <laughs> yes! Exactly, DX. <laughs> smoking in the church. Honestly, like, I feel like if you got caught smoking in the church, that wouldn't just get you kicked out of church. They'd pro you'd probably be confronted on that, and you'd, like, have to answer before, like, the elders of the church or something, but... It, they'd probably be more interested in, like, why were you doing that? Like, hey, we, if you need help, we're here for you. Or maybe it depends on what church you're part of. I think. As I spoke with Shion, I thought back on today. I had no grounds to say that everything was fine. けいちゃんも注意してください。特に一人で表を歩くときは最新の注意を払ってください。私は沖の宮ですから一人きりになることは想像ありませんが、一人ぼっちになることも多いはずです。特に注意してください。そうだな。あ、気をつけるよ。それ
警察を味方につけるのはプラスだと思うぞ。But Shion hates the police. Shion didn't answer right away. For a few moments, all I could hear was her breathing as she thought about it. So, you have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do it. You can't 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 do it. Please don't get angry like you did yesterday and just listen. I hammered that home before I got too upset. Probably smart. Hinamizawa <laughs> いちがんとなって戦ったんだろでもしたり裁判に訴えたりテレビに。だわしよんとわ、わ。実際はもっともっと過激なこともたくさん行った。だわしよんとおっしゃった。その先本家が水面下で様々な違法な抵抗活動を
And that was not a fun thought to entertain. Grandma was too old. Plain fire, Mion. あの、ミオンが。今は何だかのんびりした雰囲気だから想像もつかないでしょうが。器物破損から脅迫、暴行まで人通りこなして何度も補導されたんですよ。子供ですからすぐに釈放してもらえたみたいですけどね。お姉は
あとはありますか大石に聞かれたこと以外は身に起こったことはどんな些細なことでも教えてください Aside from my discussion with Uisi san, Rika, Rika chan. Oh, should I tell her that I revealed everything to Rika chan? That's kind of important! <laughs> Rika was acting like she knew something, I didn't. She told me to leave it to her, but what? Ah, that's right. When I was talking to her, I mentioned Shion's name too. Was that a mistake? I felt like Shion would get angry. Tell her! I had remained quiet for a little while, so Shion encouraged me to speak, unable to bear the silence. Uh, uh, Keiichi, if, if you lie about this, I really don't think it's going to end well. I'm pretty sure that Mio, Shion's becoming increasingly more paranoid, like we did in Chapter 1. <laughs> I could see it! I could see it! It wouldn't surprise me if Satoko was a killer. It really wouldn't. <laughs> As I struggled with what to say, Shion addressed me instead. Yoshi! <laughs> the old man Kimiyoshi? My gut told me that that was the name of the mayor. I realized I shouldn't have said that. Here in Hinamizawa, the things that happened around this time, when Oyashira sama's curse would recur, would all be covered up. あ、実はな、夕べ会合の後、家に帰ってこないとかで、ひなみざ中で大騒ぎになったんだ。村中で探したみたいだけど、まだ見つかったって話は聞かないな。警察も探してるはずなんだけど。She shouted angrily at me, bringing all her emotion to bear. The receiver was silent. Did Shion get mad again and hang up? Oh, she's really scared. Shion's tiny, confused voice sounded like it belonged to a different person than the one yelling a few seconds ago. Shion hesitated for a long while, but then she confessed. Sorry. I also gotta say, the voice acting in this game is top tier. Especially whoever voices Mion and Shion. Shion still hesitated for a few moments. Then, in a resigned voice, she continued. Really? That's kind of surprising to me. Shion seemed to think I would yell at her right after she said that, so I heard her catching her breath. Contrary to what she thought, I was a little relieved. Shion had done the same thing that I had when I confessed everything to Rika. <gasps> oh no, does that mean Rika's gonna get targeted next? Oh, that would be bad. So, in as gentle a voice as I could, so as not to set her off, I responded. Shion felt the same pain as the rest of us from the mayor's disappearance. Mayor McCheese, what a guy! She had a different kind of strength from Mion, and as she continued, her voice sounded truly sad and pained. I don't know, he's probably with Shrek now. Shion didn't answer. Even as I said it myself, I didn't think we'd ever find the missing mayor again. We probably wouldn't even figure out if he was alive or dead. Shion must have been thinking the same thing. Sonchou-san, I... 
まともじゃない死に方をしたのは<笑>知ってるのはい知っていましたあの二人がお社様のたたりで死んだから私はその怒りを鎮める生贄にされるんじゃないかって、wow. 本当に率直に言いましたあ,あそれで君よしのおじいちゃん怒らなかったそしてにっこり笑ってシオンちゃんがちゃんと反省してるなら鬼隠しになんかなるものかって本当に笑いながら任せなさい That, that's literally the exact same thing Rika did! Until she unstopped sobbing, I was unable to find any words for her. I couldn't imagine what kind of person the mayor was, nor what s h e o n s relationship with him was like. Words of comfort, however, mean so much to us when we're about to be crushed by anxiety. Today, Rika taught me that too. If someone who gave me such a sense of security were to disappear, then I could guess what kind of shock s h e o n was in. What is it? 打ち明けてしまったからよせよシオンシオンのせいじゃないよいいえ私のせいなんです私が打ち明けてしまったから君よしのおじいちゃんが知ってしまったからだから殺されてしまったに違いないんです oh, this is getting good. 打ち明けてすぐなんですよ打ち明けて大丈夫って言ってくれたその晩に消えてしまった He found out. So he became involved. お前から先に殺すに決まってるじゃないか順番が違うよ<笑> KH, what are you talking about? I'm having fun with my girlfriend! 殺されるなら俺かシオンが先他の奴らが先に死んだりするものか順番はあります私たちを一番最後に殺すつもりに違いないんですはな、なんだって人を思いに殺さないで親しい人たちから順々に殺していて My words came out as a scream, as if I were shouting them at myself. Our parents definitely heard that. This is right now the embodiment of like the guy with the cork board in his room, like <laughs> the conspiracy for his meme. She repeated the same thing as before, as if she were in a delirium. Despite my trying to console the crazy Shion, for some reason the shadow at my feet began to freeze. From that shadow, a cold arm reached out. So cold it seemed like it would freeze even my heart just by touching me and grabbed my ankle. The heat generated by my body, the arm was absorbing it. It was a horrible chill, a freezing, cold, numbingly frigid. It was an inviolable chill of fear. Though I sympathized with Shion, I had been naive in thinking it was something only she had to worry about. In my head, Shion's eerie words repeated again and again He was killed because I told him. He was killed because he found out. I confessed everything. So he was killed. Those words echoed through my head like a monotone mantra, and finally, those even repetitions took on meaning. The quiet shaking that had already overtaken me turned into a violent shiver that shot up my spine. Rika chan! Rika chan da! What did you say now? I. 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 It's okay, though, guys. Rika's not gonna get hurt because we were speaking in code. Nobody knows. Rika chan, yo! Rika chan, te. Rika chan, no koto desu ka? Fure de jinja no Rika chan? So da yo! Rika chan da yo! Ore mo. Don't show mo naku fuan de. Uchiake tan da. Rika chan, ni. 
<laughs> Love the siren in the background. Man, this this scene is top tier writing. This is great. <laughs> but also, I don't want Rika to get hurt. The cat is worrying too much. I'll do something about it for sure. That's what Rika-chan said, and then she smiled. She smiled, just like the missing mayor had when he encouraged Shion. ごめん、しょ。俺、俺、ちょっとリカちゃんのことが心配になっちゃって。あ、はい。そんなに心配でしたら、ぜひ電話をアンピを確認してみてください。あ、操作してもらう。また明日もこのくらいの時間に連絡
That can't be ethical. The man, red-faced, waved his hand to say that he'd had enough, and disappeared into the brilliant neon lights in front of the station. さっきの話、本当っすかね熊谷。さて、それはわからないですけどね。真偽は Though we have been suppressing the information, Tomotake and Takano's deaths were already known throughout Hinamizawa. All of the rumors pointed to them having incurred the wrath of Oyo Shirasama for setting foot on the Forbidden Temple, the storehouse for ritual implements. According to the rumors, there were two other people who went in there with them. Shion Sonozaki and Keiji Maibara. He's the cutie assistant cop. <laughs> now, now that best boy is dead, you gotta find next best boy. <laughs> People were whispering in the shadows that those two would be cursed by Oyashiro-sama as well. Apparently, however, their responsibility didn't fall solely on the four trespassers' shoulders. Until last year, it was locked up tight, but this year, it had been changed to a simpler lock. Hadn't that been what allowed thieves to enter so easily? Those were the rumors going around. This year it was a very simple and cheap padlock. The lone girl protecting the shrine, Riga Furude, disliked the heavy locks, and consulted with the mayor, who had replaced it with a simpler padlock. Thanks, Rika! <laughs><笑><笑> Okay, good. Rika's got bodyguards. You know if everybody, everybody's like, hey, Rika, Rika might be being targeted. You know the old people will be like, no, not Rika. Even if Rika gets killed, like, oh, man, the uprising that's going to happen. Because she's, like, very well respected in the village. There we go. Cool. So she's got all the bodyguards and cars. So hopefully she'll be okay. Unless it's like, it really is this giant conspiracy. Why did it have the, the festival stands there, though, as the... Uh, it doesn't make much sense to me.